Hey guys, how's it going? This is Natnado. And we're back with Corpse Party. Now, if I remember correctly, we just left Naomi to sleep. And I think it's time that we go and find Yuka. I think, anyway. The walkway was just at the bottom of these stairs to the right. Yep. So... Wait, it's gone now? It's not here. Big surprise. Why? Why is there a wall here? There was a whole other building. What the hell is going on? Yuka! Yuka! Why must you torment me like this? Okay, I don't remember this happening last time. Kizami! The sign said elementary school students couldn't buy them without a parent's permission. But they sold me a hamster anyway, and it was only 540 yen! Heh <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Their lives aren't worth much at all. What? Oh, nothing. So, what are we gonna do with it? <laughs> Look at how cute he is. You wanna take care of him? Heh, <laughs> you're kidding, right? That smelly thing? Huh? So, what, then? Something really special. Wait till you see it. It's like nothing else. The end of a life. The very moment of death. Come on, give it here. This box cutter should do the trick. Heh. <laughs> wow. What? Are you stupid? What? Hey, it skipped it. Watch closely now. <laughs> Yuya, what do you think you're doing? Eep, it's Kizumi's sister. Nothing. Don't you nothing me, you little asshole. You've got a knife and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet. So I'm not wrong when I say nothing. Now am I, stupid bitch? Are you for real? You realize that no one likes a smartass, right? You'd better cool that sass mouth, or you'll grow up to be an even more of a good-for-nothing dirtbag than you already are. Uh, Kizami? Give him here. I'll take care of the little guy myself, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. <sighs> I swear. I don't know how he can put up with you. Tch. Just shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyway? If I had a little brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. I sure as hell wouldn't be like my goddamn holier-than-thou sister or my fucking retard of a brother. I'd listen to the little tyke and respect him. And if I had a little sister of my own... <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah. The what's going on? <laughs> what's the matter, Yuka? They're all full. Hmm. does that mean? Oh, Jesus. Well, what the hell? Who did this? Or did they do it themselves? Shit. The body inside is too near the stall door. Every time you try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces closed. That's... that's quite a stench. Well, I'd say we'll just get the same message for all of them, so let's go back. What? A great many lives ended in this room. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> He's gone mad. Or maybe he was mad the whole time, who knows? 
Interesting. Oh! Shit, what was that? <laughs> Poor little Yuka. With all those bodies in there, you'll never be able to relieve yourself. <laughs> Well then, <laughs> shall we be off? My dear little sister. <laughs> oh my, <clears throat> he's very creepy. Sure is cold. Why the hell did Miss Yui and Kishinuma go, anyway? Don't leave me by myself. I'm scared, you know? Maybe I should try going back to room 1A. If I stay in this other school building for too long, my head's really going to start pounding. Am I going to play as her now? Oh, maybe we are. Hmm? What? I can't move. Stop it! Just stop it already! We were killed by an educator. Huh? Ah! Is that the girl in the red dress? I think it is. <clears throat> that was the girl who wasn't involved in Suzumoto's death. She seemed different from the others. Lonelier. But why? Alright, now I can play, I think. Let's read the note. Treat tomorrow like a certainty. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's Tachibana's turn for day duty tomorrow. I want to go back to class. I hate the idea that I might not be able to ever enter... Wait. Might not be able to ever again. Okay. I swear I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. Huh. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Okay. Cool. Let's go then. Oh, wait. Let's try down here first. Maybe we might be able to find... Oh god, what the hell is that? She like freaking had a period or something. It's kind of awkward. Whoa, what the fuck? The antique doll you threw down earlier is still lying here. Pick it up. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Come along. Come along, pond. <laughs> What's this? Um, let's not read it yet, let's just have a quick save just in case it messes us up. Hmm? Uh, what's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside, in the hallway. Did someone move it? Well, I don't know. Let's save in number one, because that was where I uh, messed up. Last time, when I, uh... <clears throat> was still on the, uh, false trail. Okay, let's read it. Tenjin Public Relations. The light and dark sides of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal, Takamine Yanagihori. Yanagihori. Ground was broken for Tenjin's Municipal Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town, as no elementary school had stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for class, so for them in particular, Heavenly Host truly was a godsend. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takamine Yanagihori. 
Yanagihari quickly became popular amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic personality, his worth ethic, his work ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even general building expansion. Essentially, due to Yanagihori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day, with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. Blank. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Ah, cliffhangers. Nothing important. Uh, is this important? Monthly goal, how to remove a tongue, part two, draft. Cut the tongue with a big pair, of, with a pair of big scissors. It's so thick and warm, but how will you know whose tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Simple. Label it with a name tag. The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick the safety pin in deep to keep the label from slipping away. Well, 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 well. That is interesting. Kind of creepy, but interesting. I can't go this way. I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. Nope, that's fair enough. Let's go back then. You pussy. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. <clears throat> Seriously, what the hell is wrong with that freaking blood on her pants? <laughs> Best sound effects ever. Come on. Don't let me skip. Hmm? Where is that coming from? It sounds muffled. Like one of those toy Mika doll telephones. But it's definitely close. <gasps> it's that damn doll! It's making noises again! <laughs> Come on, skip it. There we go. Interesting. Oh look, it's the, it's the blue thing again. Let's talk to it. Nope, not from here. Around the other side. Yo! Whether you're facing a flyer on the wall, or just standing in the middle of the room, if you've got a hunch there's something nearby, use the X button. Never give up. Okay, thanks. I think there's something here. Here, here, here. Nope. I give up. Sorry. Alright. When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain and suffering you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. Your soul will never be released from its misery. Well, we already know that one. And it's terrible indeed. Hmm. Uh, let's try leaving, even though I know it won't. Yep. <clears throat> Definitely not going to let us leave here. Alright. Oh, the doll's weeping again. And yet again, I can't skip it. Oh. It just started it just started crying and then she doesn't even give a shit about it. What did we say? We said corpse first. Whoever this see whoever this is seems to have only died just mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Okay. An old crumpled up piece of paper next to the body. Well, Yuma, guess this as far as you <coughs> Pardon me. Throat. Um, anyway. Well, Yuma. Guess this is as far as you go. Exhaustion has set in, so it looks like it's the end of the road. My classmate, Tomo... Tomo? I don't know. Tomo Mizuki climbed the fence around the outdoor walkway and slipped into the woods outside the school. It's been three days now, and she still... I thought it was a guy. It's been three days now, and she still hasn't come back. All the while, I've been stuck here getting chased around by the ghost of a girl with nothing above her jawline. And I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrists, so I'm in no condition to keep running. 
I keep hearing this snip, snip, snip sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real, or if it's just a ringing in my ears. I wish I'd just die already. Get it over with, so I can finally rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off at the jaw like that lit. Oh no, I fucking clicked it again, god damn it. No, stop. Go away. Okay. I did not mean for that. In fact, I need a quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, let's continue. We're back. Now, what the hell was I doing? I forget. Let's check this. Congratulations on your arrival. Our most heartfelt blessings we offer to thee. We'll be anxiously awaiting your death. And once everyone's dead, that's when we'll all be able to meet again. And then... The conquest begins. The hell does that mean? Very interesting, what the fuck? It's the body of a middle schooler. Whoever it is seems to have only died just mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Alright. Damn. Oh, what the hell? The crack in the ground. Oh god, <laughs> the time went up by the time I was going, lol. Okay, bucket. Nothing. Inside the building. A note. There's a crumpled up note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all of this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones we should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. Ah. That's a little dude I got in my pocket. Cannot go up there. We will have to go around the corner. We got this. Easy peasy. Not even a challenge. Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Due to recent kidnappings, caution, I swear I've read this. Yeah, I have. Anything on the board here? Does our little note? The message you wrote previously is still clearly visible on the teacher's desk. No one's responded yet. I wonder if anyone's even seen it. My message. Nothing. Okay. In here? Okay. There should be something in here, I think. Okay, let's start with the notes. I'm so glad we could find each other before we died. We'll set off on this journey together, holding hands forevermore. There's nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know there was meaning in our lives because we were fortunate enough to find our soulmates, to find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. To our mothers and our fathers, take heart, we died happy and wanted for nothing. And when we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We'll fly up to heaven and be joyous forevermore. Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you. But one day we'll meet up again, up in the golden realm of the ever after. Lexan Senior High School, Class 3-2. Hotaru Kanazaki, Kanzaki, Class 2-4, Nayuto, holy shit, Minato Gawa. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, fucking, it's good that you found each other, but those hunger pains, they're gonna be there, and you're not going to heaven either. There's graffiti on the wall here. Idiots, there's no getting into heaven from here. I should have written that myself. Okay. Two corpses here, both large enough to deduce that they were probably high schoolers. It appeared they died hand in hand, and their bleached white bones are still holding hands even now. Cute. Yep, we know. Okay. The lever is stuck, it won't budge. There does seem to be space for it to go down one more notch, but the mechanism is locked. There's a tiny, peculiarly shaped keyhole in its base. 
Alright. Then we're looking for a peculiarly... Peculiarly... Okay, I can't say that word. We're looking for a peculiar key. Ah. Ow. Ayumi's hands landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. The skin between the index finger and thumb are... Oh, God, no. Cut wide open. Ugh. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. It's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Just found out I'm anemic yesterday, too. Great timing, huh? Starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. <sighs> Jesus. I believe that being anemic means that, like, the blood doesn't clot or whatever. Like, I'm just assuming. It's not like you're going to be rescued, after all. We already tried everything we could to get out. We exhausted every possibility. You might live another few days, maybe even a week or two if you tough it out. But can you stand to live that long with nothing to eat? Nothing to drink? No change of clothes? Dying is just a whole lot easier. So come on, join us. We're all waiting for you. It might even be fun. There are so many ways to die, imagine the possibilities. But don't tarry. We're waiting, after all. Waiting to welcome you. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Sheesh. Alright. Let's do everything on this floor, then we'll take the stairs. Oh boy, it's that girl again. Naho! Senoki! Oh god, I really need to sneeze. Nope, it passed. Okay. You're a liar! 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 Those child spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Repentance, sorry. Give me back Suzumoto! <gasps> ah! Oh shit! I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Ah! Kishinuma! Yay! Ugh. You okay, Shinazaki? You're the one to ask. What on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. Heh. <laughs> well, as soon as you got turned... As soon as you turned that corner before, I got struck in the noggin from behind. Ugh. But I'm... but I'm... oh shit. But I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. The child spirits were there, along with some really big dude holding a hammer. How did you get here, then? Well, after a little while in that room, I lost consciousness again. And when I woke up, I was in the first floor hallway. So, did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anybody else to die. Yeah. I am not mistaken. If each of those child spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then these closed spaces, given shape by their bound souls, should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets, though. And it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here, anyway? The man with the hammer, who attacked you. He was their murderer. You, you serious? It seems he's got a violent streak even in death, as well. He harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. And how are we supposed to do that? 
Based on my mentor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hands should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. He was given it by his mother, and reportedly, he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? Oh. My personal affairs are not your concern. <sighs> What's happening? God. Uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> You'll need to find that man's body, or his remains at any rate. They should be in this school building somewhere. And if you find them and return the doll to their side, everything will be just fine. <sighs> Miss Senoki? <sighs> your friend's death is your own fault. The hell was that all about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Maybe not, but it's as good a place to start as any. Earlier, as I was passing through the first floor, the doll started crying, like weeping loudly. Seriously. Let me tell you, I sure didn't miss having that thing around. Well, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or... Oh, wait a minute. Did he say that? Oh, crap, I made a mistake. This whole voice thing, okay. Or, can you? How's your head? Wow, that's quite a bump you've got. Guy was a lousy aim, but he still hit my head full force with the handle. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Damn child killer. <sighs> You're lucky I just so happen to have some cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing that wound. Part of your prop closet, I take it? Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. <laughs> The hell was that? Something going on up here? I heard a, a noise. I don't know. Let's just save. Thank you.